Don't grab it, Ernie.
in nomini Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Pax Fobis. Tonight we're celebrating this Requiem Mass in a special way for all the deceased relatives and friends of all of our families of all here present and all who are watching us via live stream. We're also praying for all those who are buried in the mausoleum underneath this cathedral. And also we're praying in a special way for three homeless people who died and no one recovered their bodies or wanted them. Their cremated remains are here in the casket in front of the altar. And at the end of mass, we'll be burying them in our mausoleum underneath the cathedral. Fratres, agnos camus peccata nostra, uraptissimus et sacre misteria celebranda. Miserere nostri domine, Ostende nobis Domine misericordiam tuam. Miseriatur nostri omnipotens Deus, et misis peccatis nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eterna. Oremos. Reces nostras quesmus Domine, benignus exaudi, ut tum atolitor nostra fides, in filio tua mortui suscitato, in famalorum tuorum prestolanda resurrectione, spes quoque nostra fermetu, Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, qui tecum vivid et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum.
reading from the Book of Wisdom. The just man, though he die early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men, and an unsullied life the attainment of old age. He who pleased God was loved. He who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away lest wickedness pervert his mind or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the whirl of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he sped him out of the mist of wickedness. But the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine? or nakedness, or peril, or the sword. No, in all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, 
such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Twenty years ago, I was making a retreat at the Jesuit Retirement Home for Priests in Los Gatos. It's on a mountaintop there. There are about 80 retired priests living there. And I got up early one morning to go to the chapel at 6 a.m., and I go in the hallway. And I could hear coming from the room across the hall from me a banging and a old man's voice yelling, help me, help me. So I went in, opened the door, and one of the old priests was on the floor, fully clothed, and he had his cane and he was banging. And he said, I fell down and I couldn't get up. I said, how long have you been on the floor? And he goes, since 10 o'clock last night. I said, why didn't you bang earlier? I would have come and and he goes, I didn't want to wake anybody up in the house. So we called some nurses. We had an infirmary there. We got him up and we took him to the infirmary to be checked out and examined by a doctor who was coming that day. Two days later, they were serving him dinner in the infirmary in his wheelchair there. And he had just finished his macaroni and cheese. And the nurse said, would you like some jello? And he said, yes. So she went to get the jello, she came back with the jello, and he was gone. He had died right in that chair. Two days later, we buried him, and he had a nephew who was a priest. It's kind of rare. And the nephew got up in the pulpit and said, my uncle had strict orders for me when I said his funeral mass. This was not to be a celebration of life. He wanted us to pray for his immortal soul. To pray for his immortal soul. That old priest knew the facts. Fact one, that when we die, most of us are not as bad as Adolf Hitler, nor are we as good as Mother Teresa. We're somewhere in between that we may need some period of purification, cleansing from our sins, before we can go to heaven and look God in the face. That period or stage of purification we call purgatory. Fact number two, when we're in purgatory, there's nothing we can do to help ourselves. We are dead. So when we're in purgatory, we rely on the prayers of people that are already in heaven with God and glory to help us. And we rely on the prayers of people like us still alive here on earth. We call the people in heaven church triumphant, and we call all of us still here on earth the church militant. And that's good news, because when one of our loved ones dies, we still have a connection with them. 
we do celebrate their life. We're happy that God gave us this mother and that father, this brother, that sister, this grandma and grandpa. We give thanks. And it's okay to celebrate their lives. But we need to do more for them. We can't just have the funeral and that's it. They need our prayers. And one of the beauties of the Catholic faith is that our love for the deceased goes beyond the grave. They can experience our love where they are. And the highest form of prayer we can offer for anyone, living or dead, is the sacrifice of the Mass. That's why I'm glad we're all here tonight, or people are joining via live stream. Offering that Mass, Christ's sacrifice on the cross, his resurrection, and applying the fruits of that to our deceased is the best thing we can do. I was stationed for 10 years in England, and they have a custom in England and Ireland that when they have a Catholic funeral and you come in and you see the casket as it is there with the candles around it, it has cards on top of it. And what people do there is when someone dies that they love, they go see the priest and they request a mass be said for that person's soul. The priest gives them a mass card and they bring it to the funeral and they place it on open on top of the casket. So when you look at the casket, you see all these masses that are being said for this person, lifting their soul up to God in heaven. And one last thing. As Catholics, our love for the departed extends even to people we don't even know, especially people who have no one to pray for them or even no one to bury them. That's why at the end of this Mass, we'll give a proper burial for these three homeless people who have died and whose bodies have been left unclaimed. Michael, Myra, and Vanna. We care about you. We lift up your souls tonight to the loving mercy of Jesus. And we pray that you and all the departed may be saved. Jesus promised, come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, and may their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Please stand, my friends. Let us appeal to God's mercy on behalf of all our faithful departed, especially for those who are most in need of our prayers. For the Holy Church of God, that her members may never forget the church waiting for final glory and eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who did not know Christ in this life, that his light and peace may be given to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the priests of the Diocese of Oakland who have died this year, may they be given a place in the liturgy of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn the loss of a loved one, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the holy souls in purgatory, for Michael, Myra, and Vanna, and for all our beloved dead whom we remember at this Mass, that they may be afforded a place of light, happiness, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, into your hands we commend the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
plorate fratres, ut meam ac vestrum sacrificium, acceptabile fiat apud Deum Patrem omnipotentem. Fipiat Dominus sacrificium de manibus tuis, et laudum et gloriam nomini sui, et utilitate quoque nostrum, totiosque ecclesiae sui sancti. Nostris Domine propitiare muneribus, ut family tui defuncti, assumantur in gloriam cum filio tuo, cuius magno pietatis iugimur sacramento, qui vivere et regnat in secula seculorum. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, sursum cohorda, patemus ad dominus, gratias agamus, nomino Deo nostro, Vere dignum et justum est, ecum et salutare, nos tibi semper dubique, gratias ahagere, Domine Sancte Pater, omnipotens eterne Deus, per Christum Dominum nostrum, in quo nobis bes beate resurrectionis e fusis, Ut quos contristat, certa moriende condicio, eostem consoletur, futura immortalitatis prohomicio. Tuis en infidelibus Domine, vita mutatur, non tolitur et dissolute terrestrius incolatus Domino, Eterne in celis habitatio, cohomparatur. Et idio cum angelis et archangelis, cum tronis et dominationibus, cum quiam ni militia celestis exertitus, hymnum gloriae tuae canimus, sine fine dicentes.
Egitur clementissime Pater, per Iesum Christum filium tuum Dominum nostrum, supplices rogamus ad perimus, uri accepta habeas et benedicus hec dona hic munera hic sancta sacrifici illibata, in primis quae tibi offerimus, pro ecclesia tua sancta catholica, quam pacificare custodire adunare et regere digneris toto orbe terrarum, unicum famolo tuo, Papa nostro Francesco, et me indigno famolo tuo, et omnibus orthodoxis aque catholic et apus catholic e fidei cultoribus. Memento Domine famulorum famularum quae tuarum, et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides cognita est, et nota devotio, pro quibis tibi offerimus, vel quibi qui tibi offerunt, hoc sacrificium laudis, pro se suisque omnibus, pro redemptationem animarum suarum, pro spe salutis et incolumatitis sue, tibique redunt vota sua eterno, Deo vivo et vero. Comunicantes et memoriam venerantes, in primus gloriosae, semper virginis Mariae, genetricis Dei et Domini, nostri Iesu Christi, sed et beati Iosef, eustem virginis sponsi, et beatorum apostolarum, ac martyrarum tuorum, Petri et Pauli, Andre, Jacobi, Ioannis, Tome, Jacobi, Filippi, Bartolomei, Matei, Simonis et Tadei, Lini, Cleti, Clementis, Zixti, Cornelius, Cipriani, Lorenzi, Crisogeni, Ioannis et Pauli, Cosmas et Damiani, et omnium secularum, sanctorum tuorum, quorum meritis praesibusque concedas, ut in omnibus protectionis tuae, munerarmur auxilio. Ancicitur oblationum servitudis nostri, sed et cuncte familiae tuae quaesimus domini, ut placatus acipias, diesque nostros in tua pace disponas, Atque ab eterna damnazione nos eripi, et in electorum tuorum iubias gregi numerari. Quam oblationum tu Deus in omnibus quesumus, benedictam, ad scriptam, ratam, rationabilem et certabilem quae facere digneris, ut nobis corpus et sanguis fia, dilectissimi filii tui domini nostri Iesu Christi qui pridie quam pateretur, ac cepet panem in sanctus ac venerabilis manus suas, et elevatis oculis in celum ad te Deum Patrum Suum Omnipotentem. Tibi gratis agens benedixit, fregit, diditque discipuli suis dicem, ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provobis tradetur. Simili modo postquam cenarum est, ac cipiens et punct precarum calicem, in sanctas ac venerabilis manus suas, item tibi gratias agens benedixit, diditque discipuli suis dicens, ac cipite et bibite ex eo omnes. Hic est enim calix sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobis et provulti se fundetur, in remissionem peccator, o facite in meam commemorationem. Mysterium fine, Un 
Day of Memory is Domini, Nos Servi Tui, Sedet Plebs Tua Sancta, Eustin Christi Fili Tui Domini Nostri, Tam Beate Passionis, Nec Non Ed Ad Inferis Resurrectionis, Sedet In Celus Gloriose Ascensionis, Proferimus Praeparare Maestati Tue, De Tuis Donis Actatis, Postiam Puram, Postiam Sanctam, Postiam Immaculatam, Panem Sanctum Vitae Eterni, et Calicem Salutis Perpetua. Supra quae propitio ac sereno vultu respicere de ignedis, et accepta haberi sicudi accepta haberi dignatus est, munera puri tui justi abel, et sacrificium patriarche nostri abrahe, et quod tibi optimum sumus sacerdos tuus Melchizedek, sanctum sacrificium immaculatum hostiam. Suplices te rogamos omnipotens Deus, iuve hec perferi termanus sancti angeli tu, in sublime altari tuum, in conspectu divine maestatis tuae, ut quoquod ex apaltaris participatione sacro sanctum filii tui corpus et sanguinum sum serimus, omni benedictioni celesti et gratia repleat. Memento etiam domine famulorum famulorumque, Tuarum, qui nos preser et terunt cum signo fidei et dormiunt in somno pacis. Ipsis domine et omnibus in Christo quiescensibus. Locum refrigeri lucis et pacis ut indulgeas deprecamur. Nobis quoque peccatoribus familias tuis de multitudine miseriationem tuarum Sperantibus partem aliquam et societatem donari dignis, cum tui sanctis apostolis et martiribus, cum Ioane Stefano, Mattia, Barnaba, Ignazio, Alexandro, Marcellino, Pedro, Felicitate, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucia, Agnete, Cecilia, Anastasia, et omnibus sanctis tuis, intra quorum nos consortium, nos aitimatur meriti, sed venie quesimus largitur admite per Christum Dominum nostrum. Per quem pec omnia Domine, semper bona creas, santificas, vivificas, benedicis et restas nobis. Per ipsum et cum ipsa vati in ipsum, es tibi Deo Patria omnipotente, in unitate spiritu sancti, omnes a honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Right chapter salutaribus magnati, et divine institutione formati, au deemus dicere. Pater nostrum, Pacium in diebus nostrum, ut ope misericordiae tui adiuti, et abecarus simus semper liberi, et abomni perturbatii securi, expectantes beatam spem, 
et de venem salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. Sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, e am Christi cunum voluntatem tuam, pacificari e coordinare e dignerius, cui vives et regnas in secula seculo holo. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobihis cum. Et Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolet peccata mundi, beati qui et cenam agni vocati sunt. Domine, non sum dignus, but intres sub tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo, senabitur anima. We invite Catholics to come forward who wish to receive communion. If you're not Catholic, we invite you to receive a blessing, and you indicate that by crossing your hands on your chest.
oremus. Resta quesmus Domine, ut family tui defuncti, in mansionem lucis transiat et pacis, pro quibus pascale celebravimus sacramentum, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. I invite you, if you like, to join us at this moment as we process with our three deceased friends. We're going to go down into the mausoleum under the cathedral, say the final prayers of the Mass there, have the final um, musical pieces there. It'll be about 10 minutes. I invite you to join us and to follow the casket in a procession down to the mausoleum.
we gather here to commend our brothers and sisters, Michael Davis, Myra Teresa Williams, and Vanna Sikio, to God our Father, and to commit their bodies to the earth. In the spirit of faith and the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, let us offer our prayers for Michael, Myra, and Vanna. We read in the scripture, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Almighty and ever-living God, in you we place our trust and hope. And you, the dead, whose bodies were temples of the Spirit, find everlasting peace. As we take leave of our brothers and sisters, give our hearts peace and the firm hope that one day they will live in the mansion you have prepared for them in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brothers and sisters. May our farewell express our affection for them. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet them again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Michael, Myra, and Vanna in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brothers and sisters forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. 
may they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest, rest in, in peace. peace. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks.